I am super excited today because I am about to share with you my go-to at-home quarantine look which is I feel the most flattering makeup look in my opinion for me even if you're at home it's so important if not every morning every other morning or at least a few times a week and get ready put in that time to have like a ritual in the morning where you give time to yourself a lot of you right now are probably working from home and yeah you're not doing this to please other people but you're doing this so that you can feel like you're the best version of yourself and you can feel happy and glowy feel that this is the perfect makeup look for that because it's natural but at the same time it makes you look fresh and it makes you look happy so if you like what you see keep watching this video and let's get right into it okay so the first thing i'm going to do is just apply a little bit of moisturizer so that my uh, skin feels hydrated i feel like my foundation goes on so much nicer and i have to put on less whenever my skin feels eye cream so i'm using this one the estee lauder advanced night eye repair complex supercharged complex now that my skin feels all nice and hydrated so i like using the mac prep and prime i am going to go ahead and apply a foundation i have this on my hands just about this much first apply here a damp beauty blender it's feeling like it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone the amount of foundation that i'm putting on is not that much you can get away with a lighter color especially when i'm gonna apply the bronzer and the blush and everything like that it'll look much better i like to apply a little bit on my eyelids as well just so that it looks even i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the concealer this one i feel is like one of the best drugstore concealers and as you can see i'm running out of this and this is in the color medium so i'm just gonna apply it under my eyes like this a little bit here center my nose bridge pretty much everywhere now i'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend these areas now for my under eyes i do like to use a brush like this it blends it in a much better way what i like to do at this point is get some of my contouring out of the way i do like the brush that came with this bronzer so i just like to take a little bit and start going across the edges of my face because i have lighter foundation it's very important that i also bronze my face a bit so that it looks natural and it's sort of automatically what it does is that the face ke lighter areas and that I want to sort of highlight they come out on their own after you bronze your face my baby hair issue is really annoying I'm just gonna take a little bit of the same thing and I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and just sort of do the creases of my eyes to contour those as well I am going to elongate the corners of my eyes because I like that look. Okay, and I'm going to take the same color and do underneath my eyes as well. I want to use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because I feel like it just makes my makeup lasts so much longer and it also looks great throughout the day it's definitely a game-changing product in these areas like this and with my brows i am just going to fill them in with this maybelline brow precise and i'm just gonna go in upward motions filling in any gaps that i see
but I also like doing this new thing where I'm like sort of making the front of my brows look bushy as well and I never used to do that before and it feels like it's giving it a nice interesting bushy kind of a feel and sort of brush them up use this and brush them up I feel like this is turning out to be like a Maybelline tutorial. It's not one of those brands that is readily available in Pakistan. So anyways, this palette, I've had it for a while. The bad thing was that they can easily break. I don't even remember what those colors were. But this color and this color I've used a lot. And this is such a beautiful color. You see? It's like a perfect champagne-y color, which is not too overpowering. And it's not too shimmery. It's not too matte. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm gonna apply it with my finger now some colors I love applying with my finger because I feel like they go on so much better it's so subtle but I feel like it's just so perfect for like a fresh and natural makeup look just gonna sharpen this so I'm just gonna take this and just gonna pull outwards like that on the corner and bring it in also apply it on the bottom of my eye and then sort of blend it in with my pinky so yeah ignore how dirty it is right now <laughs> just gonna curl my lashes the secret formula that I found out is that if you keep doing this for like 30 seconds on each eye which is a total of one minute it's not really that long and it gives you the best results Now I'm going to use this mascara by Tarte, which is called Lights, Camera, Lashes and Mira Ansari, which you saw in one of my videos She's the one who told me about this product and ever since then, just been true love And then I always get it on <laughs> my lids a little bit on the bottom, not too much so a little bit really I had a choice of only having one makeup product it would probably be mascara, it's my favorite another thing that I really like doing which I feel makes my eyes look more awake is this Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and this one is in the color Nude 213 and I like there's always some construction happening here and I like applying this inside my waterline so next what I'm going to do is use this lipstick that I gifted to my cousin and now I borrowed it from her because I tried it on once and I just loved it for a really nice natural rosy look this is H&M surprisingly called kombucha and I just really take a little bit really pretty natural pink here and then I take these two fingers and I take a little bit of the same color and put it on my cheeks maybe take a little bit put it on my nose I like to take this um, chestnut color by Busme cosmetics it's a really nice lip liner that they sent me and I just like to line the bottom of my lips like this it's kind of like you're contouring your lips like that and then the top so all I did is I lined the bottom of my lip and the top cupid's bow and it really made it seem like my lips look much more plump later on this will even look much more natural so you can skip this step i just like doing this but i take a brush like this like a precise brush like sort of starting from the very front of my brows and taking the same hula bronzer and bringing a line here to make like a thinner bridge and 
and then a line right here, a fluffier brush. We blend it outwards so that the line is not so graphic and it blends out a bit. You can use your fingers here. And the brush is also good because it has a little bit of that foundation on it. So what I then do is go here in these areas and just sort of pull it out a bit and I don't know why but I like doing this part at the end because I feel like it gives a really nice finishing touch just take a brush like this and I'm gonna in my inner corners of my eyes a little bit on my brow bone I think I first found out about this technique a really long time ago back in the day when the Victoria's Secret fashion shows were like a really big thing and you know you would see videos on how like the tips and tricks on how the Victoria's Secret models get like that fresh and glowy look on the runway and I think that's when I first saw that they do this trick on the inner corners of your eyes but yeah I really like doing this because I feel like it makes my eyes look more fresher, more open and more softer rather than uh, giving it a very kind of edgy look. I'm gonna use a highlighter. So I'm gonna use a fan brush for this and I'm gonna just take this a little bit. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna use that same brush that I used for my eyes and my inner corners and my brow bone and I'm going to take this highlighter and I'm just going to go down in a line. I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Hello. So you're in my tutorial right now. Say hi. <laughs> Blur out your face, at least say hi. My battery's dying, hurry up. That's my sister, she doesn't want to say hi. Okay, anyway, so I'm, my battery's dying and I have to finish this tutorial, but Margul is sleeping, she'll be up and I'll let you know when she's up. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, my phone, my camera battery's dying and I really, really hope I have a second one backed up. Um, yeah, so I just take this highlighter and I do this and I'm rushing right now for time. And, uh, Yep, and I think that's it. I think we are done with the makeup look. This is my version of fresh, natural look that you can sport at home. You can obviously sport it if you are going to run some errands whenever we get to go out again. I feel like it's one of my most favorite go-to makeup looks that I've shared with you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of this video. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys again with another video soon. Bye.